This is another my quick tip for adding bump maps to your objects when you're rendering inside Arnold. When you're actually going into your material attributes and you go down your bump mapping, you hit your file and we'll go ahead and just select the file that we're going to use here. When you plug that file in, you expect that to give you a result. We're going to change our color space real quick to raw and we're going to uncheck alpha's luminance. When we hit render though, you'll notice that nothing changed. Our object is still very smooth looking. It doesn't really have any detail or definition to it. And there's a really interesting reason why. When you're using the AI standard surface material, but when you're actually adding in a bump map through the normal attribute editor here on the side, you're creating the wrong type of bump map. So what you need to do is go to Windows, Rendering Editors, and open up your Hypershade. So we're gonna go ahead and right click on our actual map and we're going to regraph the network. So looking at this now, we have our bump 2D and we have our 8K normal map. Right now, this setup does not work for Arnold. So what we're gonna do is we're going to detach and then just delete this bump 2D, but we're going to keep this texture. With this te texture selected, we're going to hit tab, type in AI normal map. We're going to add this normal map. Our out color is going to go to our input and our out value is going to go to our normal camera value. Now that this is added in, if we sit, we take the snapshot, we render this again. You'll see now we have that detail that we were actually looking for. So if we save this render, you can see that we got a lot more depth there than the original. So instead of looking super flat, it now looks like it has a lot of depth and shading and shadow detail to it that it didn't have before. So if you're having issues with your Maya renders and your bump maps are not coming out properly, this is why.